As the days get a little bit longer and the weather gets a little bit warmer, there is nothing that brings my friends and family together quite like a good old fashioned barbecue. And if I'm showing up to a barbecue, you better believe I'm bringing a kick-ass bottle of wine or two or three. Hey, I'm Britta, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about barbecue slash grilling and wine pairings. Before I break out the wines and start talking about the pairings themselves, I think it's important that we address barbecue and what that actually means because it really can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Just within the United States, there are so many different styles of barbecue. I mean, you go to East Texas, you're gonna get a different style of barbecue than you will in South Carolina versus North Carolina versus Kansas City. There are so many different ways to barbecue and grill. So many different types of sauces from like tomato based sauces to mustard based sauces and vinegar and then you get into like dry rubs and smoking and it's so fun and flavorful and nuanced but i think that you know since it is so different they are going to have some different wine pairings which is super exciting but i want to make sure that we realize that there are so many different ways to grill food whether it be meat veggies what have you so Let's get into some fun wine pairings for barbecue season. Okay, let me set this scene for you. You're standing at the grill. You're waiting for your guests to arrive. You've been marinating your meat or veggies, whatever you're grilling that day for a few hours. You take it out, you've got it on the grill. You're expecting your company soon. You think, gosh, I could just really use something nice and refreshing to drink while I'm grilling and waiting for my guests to arrive. Maybe I'll give them a splash when they show up too. Martha Stuman, post flirtation, enters the chat. So I actually love the winemaker's um, description of this wine so much that I don't wanna recreate it. It's a California white blend. It is a blend of Vermentino, Marsan, Roussan, and Muscat. And let me just read this winemaker's description to you. This refreshing blend tastes like straight up lemonade served with a hint of citra hops. Lively aromas of ocean air mingle with a touch of lemon skin oil for a libation that wants to meet you where you're at. This is where I'm at and I want this wine. This would also be really great with just like a super simple um, grilled chicken, maybe like a mustard sauce, or I have a, a marinade that I like to use um, on chicken thighs during the summer that's like basil and parsley and chives and pretty much any green aromatic that I can find in my refrigerator, blend it up with olive oil and garlic and I marinate my chicken in that, throw it on the grill. This is what I want. It would also be awesome with like some light fish um, and grilled vegetables, like maybe some squash. I saw someone the other day on TikTok who had a large cast iron skillet on their grill and they were doing like cabbage and peppers um, and chicken thighs and they mix it all together. This would be perfect. The next wine I wanna talk about is rosé. This is a rosé of Pinot Noir. It is dry, but it does have that nice, like quintessential strawberry watermelon notes going on. Rosé is an incredibly versatile food wine. So it has that nice fruitness to give it some of its own characteristics, but it also has some really nice acid. This one specifically has just a beautiful screaming acid that I love. It's not it's not too over the top overbearing, um, but that acid helps kind of cut through a lot of different fatty foods. So while you might think it's, you know, light and bright and zesty, you can actually pair rosé really well with um, like pulled pork and other fatty meats. Let's talk about some reds. Okay, I have a California Zinfandel here. The producer is Monte Rio. California Zin is known for its chewy red fruits and notes of black pepper. It has some really nice body to it, nice structure, firm tannins, but it's not too big and over the top to where it's not going to be friendly with food. I think that the black pepper notes in this wine will complement 
really well a steak or some kind of meat that has been rubbed in um, a spice rub that is predominantly black pepper. I think the two will be nice um, matching pairing. I think that this also goes really well with tomato based barbecue sauces. Those bright red chewy fruits I think go awesome with a tomato based barbecue sauce. Another red wine I love for grilling season is a red rum style blend or a GSM. And GSM just stands for the grapes that actually go into making the blend, which are Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra. I love this wine because when done well and by a great producer, it's just really good wine that isn't fussy. Just like the Zin, it has some really nice body and structure to it, but it's still food friendly. I love a GSM with burger, tri-tip. It's not too big to where it's going to completely overpower pork, or even if you have like, like tomato-based sauce uh, chicken, I think it would be awesome with that too. I might be most excited for this last wine. This is a sparkling red wine, and it is from the region of Emilia Romagna in Italy. The producer is Donati. He is a Lambrusco producer. And if you just heard the word Lambrusco and you want to turn off this video and plug your ears and run away and scream, I hate Lambrusco, I encourage you not to because chances are you probably had a really sweet syrupy not awesome quality Lambrusco that ruined sparkling red wine for you. And I want to encourage you that this is not that wine. This wine is a blend of four different red varieties. It was bottled before it finished fermentation and then capped. And so as it finished fermentation in the bottle, it trapped all that released CO2 creating bubbles. So essentially a pet nat style wine. It has the most beautiful earthiness to it, just brambly, like blackberries, some really nice spice, even like a little hint of jerky. This is the wine that I want with smoked brisket. Um, it's, it's pretty big, so it's gonna stand up to those, those bigger meats, but also the acid and the bubbles are just oh, so scrumptious and are gonna cut through that fat really well. And there you have my summer barbecue wine collection. I hope that you had fun watching this and that it inspired you to open the grill, enjoy some sunshine, share those moments and those meals with your friends and family. You can find all of these wines on my website at workstreetwines.com. I will put the link down in the description box below. Check it out and enjoy your grilling season.